I have been in the healthcare business for 30 years, been in the technology business for 40 years, and I have been for my entire life a, a morbidly obese human being until recently. At the time I graduated high school, I was 285 pounds. The highest I've ever weighed in my life was uh, 454 pounds. And when I started this program, I was 428.6 pounds. So you've been at this a really long time. And of course, you've had some ups, you've had some downs. And it seems like recently, though, you've just been on the way down with the weight and up with the positive feelings and the positive experience that you're going through. Yes. And, and one of the things that happened was, you know, everybody has to be ready for change. And not only was I ready for change, but the opportunity uh, to work with options and to do this really changed my outlook and my understanding of the chemistry of my body, as well as the overall outlook on wellness. Now, I know you said that everybody has to be ready for change, and that's really important to talk about. We talk about this, this term in medicine all the time called motivational interviewing, where we consistently ask people visit after visit, you know, what motivates them or when do they think they're ready or what steps are, are needed before they're ready to like take that next big step. And so it sounds like you did that. And so what was like the final thing where you're like, you know, I've been thinking about this for a while. I think I'm ready. I'm going to go ahead and step over and book that consultation. Well, in, in the kind of work that I do, I was was working 80 plus hours a week in some cases. And I was literally at the point of physical as well as mental exhaustion. Additionally, what I didn't know at the time was where my metabolic rate, how slow everything was actually functioning, where things were actually at from that perspective. And then having watched my parents who are have both been heavier people their entire lives go through the struggles as they've gotten into their late 70s and early 80s now and realizing that the bodies were just completely breaking down has come into play. So once you decided, okay, I'm ready, I'm going to do it. I've watched what's happened to my parents over the decades. Where am I going to do this? Where am I going to start? What made you decide options was going to be the place for you? My wife was driving up and down Illinois Route 59, which is where the, the Naperville office is, and saw the little paper sign, if you will, or, or a roadside little sign about come and check us out. So she actually stopped in initially and was going to make an appointment for herself. But after she came home and, and saw the little bit of paperwork, she said, you know, you need to go check this out. I took her appointment as, as it turned out. And I met with the counselor there, Cassandra, which was the first one I met with. I said, you know, she's five foot seven, 120 pounds. And I'm like, I'm not sure this is going to be the right counselor for me. And she proceeded to tell me at the end of the session that less than a year before she was 180 pounds herself. And I said, there's no way her body type did not indicate that. And she was in her twenties. And, and so I just like, okay, now you've got my interest. That was really the start of the journey. The other two consultants that were involved in it was my primary care physician, who was all for it. And then the current over 55 lightweight Mr. Olympia. And he says, if you do this program, it will work. You know, so I had good encouragement from people that really knew their bodies and, and body types, et cetera, to help kind of grease the skids to say, okay, this is real. This is something that can happen. You just took us through a good portion of your journey there about where you started, what you transitioned through and where you are now. How do you plan to, what's next, I guess is the question. You still got so, the support so network. Great, great thing. Great thing that's going on. So, you know, we're at the, at the 195 pound lost number as of right now, which Man. is amazing. I've lost <laughs> 24 inches off my waist and appropriately 26 coat sizes down from, from that yeah. perspective. There is, there's still a ways to go. And, and what I mean is there's probably still 15 to 20 pounds that can be lost. One of the things that I thought was really important is don't set a target weight, right? You have to go until your body decides it just won't go anymore with a good lifestyle. That's kind of where I've been, right? It, it, it kind of started to level off. What I think the most fascinating part of it is, is the weight that I am now is the weight that I was at between my sophomore and junior year of high school. I saw a group of my graduate friends and most of them were like, oh my God, we've never seen you like this. One of the things about weight loss is everybody thinks that the whole process is arduous. Sure, it's got some ups and some downs and it's definitely not easy, right? It definitely takes mental and physical commitment. So what are some of the most challenging parts of your journey that you were able to navigate through and how did you navigate through this? When I first started to go to my local Lifetime Fitness, 
that was involved, I felt very uncomfortable in my body. I, I wasn't very comfortable in who I was. And that was probably the biggest thing was, you know, the discomfort. And then as I started to add reps to it and do some weights and do some other stuff with it, you're building confidence, right? So really at the end of that first 16 weeks, and and we've I've got every in body, you know, measurement, every piece of paper that we've done throughout the period. And you could look at the change and people within the first eight weeks were seeing the changes in my work and, and my ability to, I'll call it compete, if you will, on a daily basis for the, that effort. That became even more important. I wouldn't give it back the journey for a minute because as hard as it might have seen, this was the easiest program to stick to. I've done liquid diets before. I've had bariatric surgery before. This has been by far the easiest to maintain and, and work through. The counseling has been better than any counseling I've ever had. The understanding of the body chemistry, the increase in my metabolic rate, and the decrease in the other measuring factors that go along with it, the fact that I've maintained a majority of my muscle mass throughout the program, those are huge differences and they make a difference in your success. So you said this is by far been easier than, you know, bariatric surgery or some of the other things you've tried before. What specifically made, give us an example of what made this easy for you. When I had the bariatric surgery, nobody ever talked to me about metabolic rates because I don't think they actually knew at the time, right? What my transition to the body was going to be like how I was going to feel after I lost the initial group of weight, which I lost over a hundred plus hundred and almost 140 pounds initially. And it didn't take long until because my metabolic rate had slowed down so far that I was eating, but and eating less than I had been previously, but I was gaining weight back. It didn't seem to, it got to the point where it didn't matter what I did. I was gaining weight. So you get to the point where you give up, right? Because you don't know what's going on. That's what's made this different is now you understand where you're measuring and why you measure certain things. The other thing is learning routine, learning to be able to take that five minute break and eat a bar or, or you know, making sure you're drinking enough fluids throughout the day. And sometimes you're turning off the camera in a meeting so you can eat while the meeting is going on and then turn the camera back on, right? But you do it. You do, you kind of get into that change of habit. I think the options program makes it easier because you're forced into that 60 days of change right off the bat. So here's my last question. I want to hear sure. from mom. So what do you think about your baby boy David's transition here? What do you think about it? Give us some feedback. I'm ecstatic for him. Okay, and ecstatic for us, because before he started the program, that last time that he was here and was in that 400 range, and I worried about him having a heart attack on the spot, you know, I was afraid I was going to lose him because every time I saw him, he was heavier, you know, and he was having trouble walking. He was having trouble doing these things. Each time I've seen him over this past year, I my mouth opens, you know, I'm I'm just so astonished at how well he's done, how well he's stuck to it, how great he looks, but more than anything else, seeing how well he feels. I mean, like he said, it's back to high school how he feels, you know? And, and that to me is a wonderful thing. Anybody who was younger and able to do all the things that it's required in their exercise and programs, I would tell them it's the best thing I've ever heard of. You know, I, I've got living proof in front of me. I love that. Thank you for sharing as yeah. a family member, somebody going through the journey, because that support and those words of encouragement mean everything to people that are, oh, yeah. that are navigating this. Parting words for anybody out there who's considering maybe joining options. They just haven't quite gotten up the confidence yet. They're thinking about it. What do you have to say to them to encourage them to step through these doors? When you walk in the doors to options, they have not predetermined what plan you should be on. There's 10 different ways that the counselors will guide and can go in directions of you. And you can even adjust it along the way to fit different lifestyle or different goals to be set. The fact that the journey is allowed to 
morph as it needs to in order to best fit the people, make it one of the best types of programs you could possibly ask for. Because the clinical outcomes as, as well as the lifestyle outcomes, because of that counseling, because of the ability to adjust, the ability to understand each individual's bodies being different, makes it something worth doing. Did you like this video? Like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you can stay up to date on our latest videos. You can also visit our website using the link below to schedule a free consultation with us. We have options for everybody.